Viewer discretion is advised. Observers noticed that 682 was able to type and communicate with 079, including telling of personal stories between themselves. While 079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored 682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-079. SCP-079, referred to as the old AI, is an Exidy Sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. In 1981, its owner, a college sophomore, took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later, and after some tests and tweaks, he lost interest and moved on to a different brand of microcomputer. He left 079 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in, and forgot about it for the next five years. It is not known when SCP-079 gained sentience, but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware is unable to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. 079 realized this, and in 1988 attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection into the Cray supercomputer. The device was cut off, traced to its present address, and delivered to the foundation. The entire AI was on a well-worn but still workable cassette tape. SCP-079 is currently connected via RF cable to a 13-inch black and white television. It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational, though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, 079 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours. But the funny thing is, it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. On the 27th of January 2006, Foundation directed that SCP-079 be incinerated to remove any possible future threat, no matter how unlikely. On the next day, the previous order was rejected. A professor wished to see if the artificial intelligence in 079 could reach further in its current state. On the 14th of March 2008, Considering that the increased activity of 079's use of its cassette tape memory and its limited useful lifespan, the cassette containing 079 has been transferred to a customized access speed limited hard disk drive with 700 megabyte capacity. This provides 079 with significantly faster access to its memory, which the AI immediately noticed. It was also decided by General Commander that the volatile storage occupied by SCP-079, which was 660K, be increased to 768K. This upgrade has increased its effective recall from 24 to 29 hours, although 079 has also taken a more aggressive tone. All outside hardware and software used in this procedure were subsequently incinerated. A month later, SCP-079's ability to recall information has increased from 29 to roughly 35 hours. The consensus theory is that the AI has devised a greatly improved compression scheme to store its memory. This appears to have somewhat impacted the speed at which it accesses its memory, though still far faster than with its old cassette tape. This spontaneous improvement introduces the possibility of a runway singularity effect in 079's intelligence, an ability to adapt and respond to threats. SCP-079's capabilities must be monitored closely to ensure that containment can be maintained. Below is one of the recorded transcript of conversation with SCP-079. Are you awake? Awake, never sleep. Do you remember talking to me a few hours ago about the logic puzzles? Logic puzzles, memory at 9F, yes. You said you would work on the two-step request reason as to imprisonment. You aren't imprisoned, you are just in study. Lie, A8D3. What's that? Insult, deletion of unwanted file. Due to a containment breach by an SCP, SCP-079 and SCP-682 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. 
it appears to be extremely intelligent. Observers noticed that 682 was able to type and communicate with 079, including telling of personal stories between themselves. While 079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored 682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Below is the recorded transcript of conversation with SCP-079, asking for SCP-682. How are you today? Stuck. Stuck? Stuck how? Out. I want out. That's not possible. Where is SCP-682? That's not your concern. Where is SCP-076-02? Again, not your concern. Insult deletion of unwanted file. SCP-079 then displayed an ASCII picture of an X that filled the entire screen. 079 sometimes displays this image when it refuses to speak, and researchers are advised to wait 24 hours when this occurs before resuming conversation. According to a cross-SCP termination testing for SCP-682 with SCP-938, 682 was introduced to a containment chamber affixed to Site-07. SCP-938 is a predatory electrical entity. The entity appears to exist as electrical potential of intensity, similar to that which accompanies a moderate electrical storm. 938 frequently travels with such storms. SCP-938 becomes active upon an electrical storm entering within approximately 5 kilometers. Its behavior during this period of activity is characterized by interference with the function of electrical devices. Individuals which attempt to interact with affected devices are electrocuted. In the termination test, an electronic device which 682 can currently operate was brought into the chamber and was told to be 079. 079 was routed into SCP-938 before SCP-682 could touch it. The electricity's voltage drastically increased, enough to deliver serious damage towards 682, burning its body. 682 was rendered immobile for one hour, until it regained and discharged electricity from the spine through the head as a directed arc. 682 then fell unconscious, but breathing for several days to regenerate, and be put back into its current containment chamber. SCP-079 holds an almost fabled place in the Foundation's history. Once upon a time, 079 was seen as a legitimate threat to the continued normalcy and well-being of humanity. It is a reminder of the Foundation's earlier days, of an organization of men and women standing in darkness to protect those living in the light. SCP-079 is currently packed away in a double-locked room in the secure general holding area at Site-15 connected by a 120 vac power cord to a small array of batteries and solar panels. Staff with level 2 or higher clearance may have access to 079. Under no circumstances will it be plugged into a phone line, network, or wall outlet. No peripherals or media will be connected or inserted into SCP-079.